I'm doing a modification of my AlphaCool iSpare 280 water cooler. Why would I do that? Well, by the way, hi, I'm Joel Lightcatcher. Thanks for joining me on my channel. This new computer that I built, I installed this water cooler and it's really designed to be a top mount water cooler, but I have it mounted in the front radiator. And the problem with that, as you can see, is these hoses, the water cooler hoses are really tight and I am uncomfortable with that. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be taking the whole thing out and replacing it with this. This is all the stuff I'm gonna be using in this modification to this water cooler. And I wanna give a shout out to Mod My Mods in Rochester, New York. I was working with Josh, or as he's known, Brawny, for helping me spec most of this stuff. So what I've got here is some right angle connectors to take the water off of the pump head and some connectors, two for the pump head and two for the radiator. We've got our flexible tubing and a nice little cutter for there. Uh, I've got some LED lights. I've already made this assembly. I'm going to be using this to light up the tubing because I'm also going to be using this uh, flow meter, which has no LEDs. So hopefully this will add some uh, bling to that. I got a temperature here. I'm going to be using this to uh, for my computer to tell to tell the temperature of the water inside the system. Um, I've got some things to make things neater. And I bought these, I bought some things from Amazon. These are some plugs that help keep this all from dripping while I'm taking the, it apart. Also, um, the back plate that comes with the uh, ice pair is really terrible. It already broke. So I'm replacing it with this nice steel back plate and some new bolt assemblies because it's going to go on differently. But I'm not going to stop there. Over here I've got a little support I'm going to be using to support my graphics card. And I'm going to be taking out all the black SATA wires and replacing with this nice white stuff because I've got a nice black and white build here. So let's get started. Here's the procedure. I need to take all the water cooler out of there, the fans and everything attached to the water cooler. I need to drain the system. Then I have to remove these tubes. Then I have to put it all back to do a dry fit with the caps in place on the um, ports, cut the flexible tubing to the right size, get it all fitted, take it back out of the system, fill it, make sure there's no air bubbles, and I'm gonna test it for quite a few hours with power on the pump to make sure there's no drips. And once I'm satisfied with that, put it all back in as a sealed unit. Let's get started. We got the water pump all set up and filled with water and it's running off of this power supply. I'll show you a little B-roll right now. And you see the uh, water is flowing in the pump and the flow meter is spinning. I don't see any drips or leaks right now. I'm gonna let this run for a few hours, make sure there's no drips. And if there is, we're gonna put it back inside the computer. Well, I've had my new water loop running all night with no leaks. I had the pump running and all the air bubbles have pretty much disappeared. And this is looking great. So let's go get this inside of our case. And... Put the glass back on. And there we are, the water-cooled, modified computer with the Iceberg 280 modified. Let's go put it back on the desk and uh, see what happens. It's the moment of truth. I got it all plugged in and wired on. I'm going to power on the first time and cross your fingers. Everything works perfectly. Oh, it's always nerve-wracking when I do this. Here we go. Oh, turn on the power. We got video and where's the on pop? That's fine. It always does that twice. Oh, the pinwheel is working. The pump is working. Looking good so far. Lights are all on. I'm gonna turn off these lights to let you see a little better. 
we got a screen. You can see the carnival that is my computer. And the monitor is just about to come on. There we go. That's a beautiful thing. It looks like she's working. Come on. Keyboard working? There we go. And we got a desktop. I have the Optical Ice Bear 280 water cooler system installed right now with my modifications of the soft tubing and the flow meter and the lights. And I wanted to do a stress test, a five minute stress test to see how well it performed. I also wanted to do that on the Cooler Master water cooler so I compare the results. And here it is right now side by side and it is sped up 1,000 times because I wanted to, well, it's five minutes, we had to make it shorter for this presentation. You can see the peaks and valleys are pretty much the same. I think the Alpha Cool is a bit more responsive. It's also so much quieter than the Cooler Master. And the max temperature on both was about 70 degrees Celsius. I'm gonna have links below to the full videos where you can actually see the sound at the normal rate of five minutes and you are going to hear those cooler masters ramping and shaking up and down in that installation and in the cooler master it is so much quieter which really is the whole reason for this experiment to see which really performed better and I'm going to give the winning uh, nod to the Alpha Cool. There are some other little issues with the Alpha Cool but all in all it is a much finer unit than the Cooler Master in my opinion in this build.